Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kids of all ages, welcome back to another episode of RB Plays All of Fabric 3. That's right, folks, we're back in our modded world doing all the cool modded things. My name is RB Plays. I am your humble host in on this side of the screen. Thanks so much for stopping by. If this is your first time here. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and get notified every time we put new content up on the channel. So last time we were together, uh, we, uh, we built this. Uh, we built this little temple to the sun god. I haven't done a whole lot to this structure. Actually, I haven't done anything to this structure at all. But I have done some stuff underneath, uh, which we can see from the inside. I've also been working on putting a perimeter uh, or the step patterns or the, 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 the edges, the sides on the pyramid. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to do this limestone brick all the way up or if I want to incorporate other blocks. I think I might want to incorporate some other blocks. I think that would be cool to do that. You guys will have to let me know what you think. Like if we did uh, more like like sandstone stairs mixed in there as well, like that might look cool. I don't know. Uh, but if we go down here to uh, the lower levels of the, of, depth, of the depths of despair and dismemberment, um, if we come down here underneath the portal, uh, this is the underside of the uh, of the sun god pyramid, uh, and so down here is where we will tie in all of our uh, all of our solar panels. Um, one thing that I did do, uh, and this is this is just kind of in in the process of getting this ready for what we're going to be working on today. One thing I did do is all of the solar panels that I already have. I have gone ahead and I've run those through the system one by one and upgraded them all to ultimate solar panels. So these not only will make power during the daytime, but they will also make power at night. Uh, I think it's 32E at night per tick and uh, 164E per tick at night. I don't know. Solar, solar, ultimate quantum should say quantum uh the quantum solar panels those make 128 e uh per tick during the daytime so so if we take one two three four five six what ten and then there's another one right there that's 11 and incorporate those into the build that's outside that's going to give us uh 13 currently 13 um 13 solar panels, which is awesome. Uh, and that's important because that's going to help us to power our base. Uh, so, But can we make more of these? So solar panels of the quantum variety. If I wanted to make, say, 10 of them, and I'm, sure I per I'm pretty sure I cannot make 10. No, because I don't have enough sap. Um, I have 300, I'm short 374 sap to make the 900, and to, uh, to make the, the 10 solar panels that I need. Um, that's a good to know because basically what that means is that we have to, again, uh, figure out how we can get more sap. We're, we're, we're doing okay on, or I think we're doing okay on sap. We have, uh, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 16 plus five more is 21, 21, uh, rubber trees. And they are, they are producing sap. I mean, at a decent rate, it's not, it's not spectacular, but it's decent, right? Um, so we got we've got that going on, uh, and then if I wanted to make some, can I make five of them? I'm pretty sure I could probably make five. Like I might even be able to make six. Can I make six? No, can't make six. What am I short on to make six of them? Lead plates. You don't know how to make lead plates. Why do you not know how to make lead plates? Lead. You don't know how to make lead plates. Well, okay, let's fix that. So lead plates. We're gonna need one of you. Uh, and then uh, one of you. So let's go over here and make a plate out of it. Yes, please. Uh, lead plate. Yes, please. How did you not know how to make lead plates? Did I just have that many lead plates in my inventory or in my uh, in my thingy whoopu? I don't know. Uh, yes, thingy whoopu. I did say that. So that is how you make a lead plate. We'll do that. We'll do that. We'll put that into our compressor. Compressor. Hello, compressor. Blast furnace. Blast furnace. What's that? Oh, that's, that's silicon plates. Okay. Uh, compressor. There it is. So compressor. Hmm? Weird. I don't remember it being like that. Anyway, that's fine. He knows how to make lead plates now. So we should be able to tell it to go ahead and make uh, solar panels times six. It can definitely make six. Whoa, wait a minute. Why do we, wait, huh, hold on. Hold the freaking phone here. 
quantum solar panels times 10. Okay. Quantum so I bet I did oh I bet I did ultimate. <laughs> quantum solar panels times six. Yeah, it's better. Yeah, that's a lot better. 784 sap. Um, so we could make more solar panels. I don't know that I want to make more just yet. I want to get that sap to build up a little bit. The other thing that I was looking at uh, is the is the actual quantum suit, right? So we made the helmet last go around, and it is fully charged. I put it in the uh, uh, I put it in the charging station that I had there, and just kind of let it sit while I did other stuff around the base. And man, oh man, that took forever to charge that up to 40 million e. I'm just saying. Uh, but then I ran into a little issue, and that is we have the materials, some of the materials. I'll show you that in a minute to make the quantum boots, but we don't have everything that we need to make the quantum chest plate. Like we need a couple more elytras. We need. Um, we need some other some other things uh, that we just don't have. Uh, but as I, I was going to go ahead and see if I could make a pair of like quantum boots. But if we do quantum boots, we can't make them. We can't make them because da 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 da. We don't have peridot plates. We don't have titanium plates. We don't have advanced alloy plates. We can't make any of that stuff. Why can't we make any of that stuff? What is going on with that? We should be able to make all of that. Like that was all stuff that we could make before. Uh, plates. That was all stuff that we could make before. Why can't we make that now? Am I missing plate? I might be missing some plate recipes. Like, I feel like I'm missing quite a few plate recipes. Oh, I'll bet I am missing plate recipes. Hold the phone here. You, oh yes, I think I am. I think, I think, I think. I think this is a problem. So there's a grinder, there's a grinder, there's a compressor. What's in that one? So compressor, compressor, yeah. Devices online, okay. Uh, over here on the other side, over here, that is an alloy smelter, that is a compressor, that is a device that is online. Those, none of those recipes don't show up, y'all. Something ain't, uh, something ain't jiggity here. Something just ain't jiggity. Uh, so there is a, there is some recipes that aren't showing up. Yeah. It's this one. I bet I just made that recipe for nothing. Oh, 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 oh. Why? Why did I do that? Why did I do that? I know why I did that. I was messing around with some stuff. I did that on accident. Ta-da! We can make that go away. Um, So that should bring... Yeah, we need to... So now we need to go in here and we need to figure out which one of those patterns we just put in there because I'm pretty sure we don't need that now. Yeah. So that is lead plates. That is lead plates. So we don't need that one. Boy, that was weird. See, you guys got to watch me derp on video. Normally they only get to see that stuff in the streams. Um, but anyway, so now if we tell it to make the quantum suit, right? If we tell it to make these, we should be missing like one thing. We are. We are missing Peridot. And Peridot apparently is only available in the end or from recycling. And that's why I was messing around with uh, the channels over there is I was trying to get it set up so that we could do some recycling uh, to, uh, to try and get uh, some of that material. But I don't know that that's actually worth it. So what I want to do right now is I want to go to the end. Uh, to the end dimension. We have a turtle. We have an entangled chest. I want to go to the end dimension, and I want to get him, uh, get that, uh, get that, get that, uh, get that turtle going to make, uh, to, to do some, cope? How about coal? Uh, to do some, some vast digging, right? So we need coal, duh, coal ore, or coal charcoal, not charcoal, regular coal. We need coal, and we probably are going to need that for Eh, we'll just we'll just do a hundred. We should be able to do a hundred, yeah. Because we've got we get we make coal ore from our UU matter, and we got lots of UU matter. Like we have a lot of UU matter. Yeah, forty five hundred. That's not a lot, but it's enough, right? So so let me get this coal. I'll meet you guys in the end. We'll get the turtle set up to do some mining there. Uh, oh, you know what else we need? Let's take a look at that. Let's take a look at that real quick. We need to get a. Uh, we need to get the. Um, the uh, the chunk loader from 
industry or from tech reborn so that right there i was in the process of making all the plates that's the other thing i was doing so we've got all the plates let's go ahead and make one of those right and we'll take that with us we will also set up a solar panel in the end because it's always daytime in the end so we should be able to power this with a a quantum solar panel right so let's see if we can do that how are you making out here are you doing okay Crafting, trying to find Uh oh. Something ain't right here. Oop. Yep. Are you offline? No, you are. Oh, oh really? Eh. That should take care of that. Boy, oh boy. I tell you. Derpage is strong. The derpage is strong. Alright, are you good now? You are. So we have an industrial chunk loader. Let's also get a, uh, a quantum... A quantum solar panel. Can I make one of those? Yes, I can. So we'll get this. I'll meet you guys in the end. Uh, and so we'll see if this thing is going to stay chunk loaded even if we leave the end dimension. It should. Don't know if it's going to or not, but it should. And, uh, and when we come back, we'll see if we can try some of that stuff out. Be with you in a minute. Okay, so we are in the end. Uh, I have the jetpack on. I should have all of the stuff that we need. I want to go over here, I guess. Uh, like, I don't know. Maybe you guys do. Like, Peridot is supposed to spawn pretty much anywhere. I, but I have not, to the best of my knowledge, I haven't seen it, like, anywhere, like, out in the open on the edges of any of these islands. So basically what I want to do is I want to set this... I want to set this up so i've already done a little bit of mining here i didn't find anything uh let's go over to let's go over to here i guess um or maybe over here yeah let's go over here we'll try this let's go ahead and set down here let's set up our chunk borders and let's get this let's get this set up so that uh so that we give ourselves the best opportunity to kind of gather what we're trying to find. Um, let's go here, like right here. I want to do a two chunk by two chunk area essentially. So we'll go ahead and put you there and then, and then we'll put, whoops, and then we'll put that there. We will put the industrial chunk loader. We'll put that right there. Uh, radius is one chunk. Can I... Oh, I can toggle the loaded chunks. Uh, oh, I can't toggle the loaded chunks because I don't have any loaded chunks. Uh, but we should be able to put power on this now. So if I go ahead and... Not the recycler. If I go ahead and put the quantum solar panel here, it is gaining power. That's cool. And then if I put a power... Uh, ooh. Hello? Do you not need power? I don't think it needs power. I don't think it needs power. Does it not need power? I could have swore. It doesn't need power. Like, it's definitely showing us loaded chunks right now. Oh, yeah. So that's loaded. That's loaded. Okay. It doesn't need power, y'all. I could have swore that this needed power uh, before, but maybe I'm mistaken? Anyway, that's loaded. That's not. So I need those chunks loaded. Yeah. So I need to go up one more. So that's fine. I'll go loaded chunks off. Guess I don't need this. So we'll get that out of there. Could have swore. Could have swore this thing needed power. But apparently, that's not the case. Anyway, let's... Uh, oh, I forgot that. Uh, what's the fuel level? Refuel. Okay. Refuel. It has 15,000 fuel in it, so it's good enough to get started. Let's go ahead and tell him to excavate uh, 32 and go. Okay. We'll go back to the base. We'll get more. Uh, we'll get more of. We'll get more fuel, and we'll come back and see if he is still running. So F3G to turn the chunks off. Our portal is over there, so let's just go back there. To do to do and then turn off our jetpack and skadoosh. Let's get some fuel because that should be done. 
and hopefully he'll still be running in the end. I've noticed that the other chunk loaders that are in this pack, uh, these chunk loaders here, if uh, sometimes they don't keep the chunks loaded when you leave that dimension. I don't know if they're supposed to or not, or if they only work while you're in the same dimension. I'm not sure exactly how that's supposed to work, but uh, it, sadly, it doesn't. It didn't seem to be working for uh, for what I was trying to accomplish. So take that, and uh, then we'll also take that, and uh, that gives us yeah, that gives us a couple of stacks. So now we'll go back, and we'll just see. We'll just see if it's uh, we'll just see if it's working for us here. So let's go here. Let's turn our jetpack back on and shift. Hello. Okay, so where were we? We were over here, I believe. Yeah, we were here. Is he still working? He is not, he stopped. So that tells me that these chunks don't stay loaded either. Well, okay, what do we do about that? How do we overcome that? Because again, I wanna say that at, some, at one point I thought this had to be powered, but I don't know, apparently, I the loaded chunks. Apparently it's not keeping the chunks loaded. You guys know what would cause that I would love to hear it, but apparently I'm going to have to AFK here while uh, while he does his thing because it ain't it ain't working. So I'm going to go ahead and get him started again. I'm going to see what he comes up with mining out as many uh, as much as he can, and I will come back to you guys shortly and let you know what's going on. And then we're also going to take a look at uh, getting power from the sun uh, from the sun temple into our base. So I did a little bit of exploring around the end dimension and I found an island that looks a little bit different than the main island. Uh, not very far away, just super close, but I wanted to go ahead and see if the turtle could dig anything up here. So I'm gonna let him run for a little bit and uh, cause he wasn't finding anything on the main island, but maybe he'll find something here because this, uh, this is, it is end stone, but it is definitely a different uh, it is different, definitely a different biome. So we'll see what happens. Anyway, come back to you guys in a minute. I'm not done mining in the end yet. I'm I'm definitely going to keep on going with that. But unfortunately, I'm not having any luck finding that peridot ore. So that could be a problem if we want to finish our, our our goal in this series of making the uh, the full quantum suit. Um, we'll have to wait and see. What I want to do in the meantime though, since that was, since the plan for this episode was to try and get some uh, some power set up in our base here, uh, what I'd like to do, and I'm not sure exactly how I can work this, um, we've got this MFE right here, right? The MFE is the middle tier uh, power storage in, uh, in Tech Reborn. I'd like to, actually, give me, uh, give me that. I'd like to, uh, see if I can um, I, I'd like to see if I can get this leveled up to the next tier the MFSU uh, and if we can get it if we can get it tiered up to the MFSU then uh, the MFSU should hold a lot more power than this holds I think I'm pretty sure that it does uh, so let's see MFSU I think I made the yeah I made the pattern for it so in order to make an MFSU, let, first things first, let's get out of there. Whoops, not completely out of there. What's the recipe for that look like? So it is an MFE surrounded by Lapatron crystals, an advanced circuit, and an advanced machine frame. Uh, we should be able, I think, I have it set up. Uh, so uh, MFSU allow substitutions no so we want to set that up for allow substitutions yes so there's that allow substitutions yes please rewrite the pattern allow substitutions uh, yeah it's fine okay so now we should be able to put this in here again can we find the place that it was yeah we can right there so allow substitutions yes if we put our mfe in there and tell it to craft an mfsu can we do it? It looks like we can. And then does it say that it has, ooh, yeah, yeah, okay. Does it say that it has the MFE? 
available. Yes, it does. Okay, good. So let's go ahead and, tr and crank that up to an MFSU. Uh, and then we're going to see how much power the MFSU holds. And we're going to see if we can get this thing um, tied into the solar panels that we already have outside. And then we'll slowly move the solar panels uh, out there and see just kind of what kind of power this thing can hold. So how long is this going to take? It says, oh, it's almost done. Uh, finished. Right there. Cool. All right. So now, sweet advancement made. One giant leap for mankind. I like it. Uh, we need to go back down here, back downstairs, and over here. I think for now. I think for now. So now, the way that this thing works. Hold on a second. The way that this thing works. If I give me some blocks. Uh, yeah, I picked up some shelter shells. Yay. Uh, give me some blocks. There's some blocks right there. So if I go like this, and like this, and like that, right? And then this thing should be able to take power in from any side, right? Ooh, really? You're hot. You have no charge. Oh, you didn't store the energy that was in there. You my friend absolutely suck but it'll hold four million so that's cool like that's pretty cool and it'll transfer at a rate of 512 uh e per tick so that transfers like twice as fast as the mf as the nmfe mfe uh oh 512 so it's uh what uh four times as fast yeah four times as fast so that's that's cool. Um, all right, so give me give me this. Uh, we need this guy, and then we need this guy, and I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna put a block. I'm gonna put a block here, and then I'm gonna put the panel or the MFSU here. Okay, and then we're gonna bring cables in this way. So if we come down here like a soul. Yeah, something like this. Something like that. Yeah. Uh, do I have... I have 28 cables. So that's... That's cool. Uh, let's turn... Let's turn that on. And then just kind of come down like this, yeah? And I want to bring it across, like, right here, I guess. So I'll just go this way. We might have to make some more of these cables. Only there was a builder's wand. There is, but I don't have it. Uh, three more. <laughs> three cables left. Um, okay, so we're just going to go like a so, so, and so. Let me make a few more cables. We need one, two, three, four, five have cables. We got a we got a place over here that we can grab some of those. So cables. Give me ten or eleven. Eleven's fine too. We'll craft those up real quick. We'll get those installed. There we go. That gives us nine. Uh, I think I asked for more than that. Yeah, it's still making some. There we go. There we go. All right, so that gives me those. We can turn the jet pack off because don't need that right now. Ooh, we're getting some lag. We're getting lag. I wonder, I wonder if that has anything to do with the chunk loader that I left in the end dimension. It might. I'll have to see if I can uh, get that to go away. So that should start loading you up with power. Yes, it is. You are most definitely loading up with power. Now, the way that I understand... Oh, you're broken. Uh, the way that I understand these MFEs, MFSUs, battery boxes, and all that is you can input... Ooh, excuse me, I had burped a little bit. You can input power from any side, right? But you have to output the power from this side. I'm pretty sure that that's the way that that works. Um, can you daisy chain these together and get multiple MFSUs 
to kind of like make one giant power bank. I don't know that you can do that. I know that with some other mods from from Forge that you can do that, but I'm not sure that you can do that with these. Um, but that that's neither here nor there. So anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab like that solar panel right there and maybe those four right there. Uh, I'm going to grab just enough that I can finish up the center of the uh, of the sun temple. And, uh, and when I come back to you guys, we should have that set up. This thing should be fully charged, and, uh, and we'll see where we're at as far as power storage goes, and then maybe get it tied into the rest of the base. Alrighty, I think we are in, the, uh, in a position where we are ready to do this. So I've got this set up, and I'm pretty sure that that is the output. So we'll go like that. That should start, yep, that's draining power. Now, it's draining power at eh, a fairly healthy rate, right? Now it's hooked up to nine solar panels. Oh, baby. 811.5. And charging nicely. Oh, boy. So this thing actually is powering most of my base. Like, not all of it, but a lot of it. Um, and uh, I still have these three ultimates here. And I've got another ultimate over here. Not ultimate. Uh, quantum solar panels. So I need to get those taken out. Um, but this is a this is a step in the right direction, all. Like this is a super step in the right direction. We are getting power fed into our base like crazy. We're at one million E already, and that should just keep. Yep, that's going to keep right on climbing. That's cool. Uh, if I do that, it charges, but it charges. Well, I mean, it's charging at a decent rate. It's charging at a decent rate, and it's whole. It seems to be holding steady. Like, it's not drastically losing power, so that's cool. But I don't need to charge that right now. That's cool. So maybe one MFSU is enough to power the whole base? I know that these cables transfer, like, 8,000 E per tick or something like that. Like, what's the, what's the, what's the, oh, it was already there. Cable. That is not how you spell cable. C-A-B-L-E. Cable. Uh, transfer rate of 8.1 K E per T. That's a lot. I think that's going to do it, folks. I think that's enough. So sadly, we uh, we didn't get the Peridot ore that we were looking for from the end dimension. You guys know where I can find that. I would love to have your uh, have your feedback on that, but uh, otherwise, I'm just going to have to keep on looking because it looks, I mean, based on what I saw in JEI, uh, or REI as it's called here in Fabric, that is the only place to find it is in the, uh, is in the end dimension. And that is unfortunate but that's all the time i have for today thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed if you did make sure you hit that like button also don't forget to subscribe the likes and subscriptions help out oh so immensely when it comes to those pesky youtube search results the other thing that helps out a lot is comments so make sure you leave your comments right down here in the comment section below and we'll chat about it leave your tips your tricks your pointers your attaboys your what in the world were you thinking all that good stuff and we'll chat about it in kind don't forget to stop by our discord server where we talk about all things life all things gaming and all things minecraft and sometimes we talk about linux stuff too but anyway folks that is all the time we have for today thank you so much for watching and until next time we will catch you on the flip side we'll see you later Bye-bye.